Welcome back to another lesson of the GCSE Chemistry Paper 2 topic, Chemistry of the Atmosphere. And in this lesson, we're going to look at global climate change. Before we start, some top tips for getting the most out of this lesson. Do not have any web pages or windows open that will distract you. Answer all of the questions. They will help to make sure you understand the new content. Switch off your phone or at least have it in a different room. It's the biggest distraction you've got. And finally, try to complete the lesson in one session. It will really help you to understand what has been covered. The plan for this lesson, as always, we will start with some retrieval practice. We know we need to go over previous topics to make sure we don't forget anything. We'll have a look at the new content, global climate change. You'll have some time to embed the new content before it's your chance to have a go and develop your understanding with some practice work. What you're going to need is a mini whiteboard or a pen and some paper, possibly some revision cards for the retrieval practice, an exercise book or a notepad to write down the new content, a mini whiteboard, pen and paper, or someone who can quiz you for the embedding, and an exercise book or notepad again for the practice work. Pause the video and get yourself organized. Let's start with some retrieval practice. First retrieval slide, pause the video and answer the questions on some paper or a mini whiteboard. Here are the answers. Any that you couldn't answer or weren't sure about, you should write down on revision cards or in a notebook so you can go back over them later. Pause the video and do that now. Second retrieval slide, pause the video and give these questions a go. Here are the answers. Make sure you pause and write down any that you weren't sure about. And a final retrieval slide to help you remember what was covered in the previous lessons. Pause and have a go. Again, here are the answers. Pause and write down the ones you struggled with. Onto the new content, you need an exercise book or notepad so you can write down the questions and answers as they appear on the screen. You will need these for the embedding part of the lesson later on. Pause and get yourself organised. So let's look at global climate change. What is the major cause of climate change? An increase in average global temperature. Describe six potential effects of global climate change. Ice caps melt, sea levels rise, which may cause flooding, more frequent and severe storms, changes in rainfall, some areas will suffer from drought whilst others will flood, temperature and water stress for humans and wildlife, changes in the food producing capacity of some regions, and changes in the distribution of wildlife species. Now it's your chance to embed those key concepts. You can use the look, cover, write, check method or get someone to ask you the questions and you can tell them the answers. Pause the video and do this now. Now it's time for you to practice using the concepts we have covered in today's lesson. Pause the video and open up your exercise book on Notepad. Here are four questions to get you to apply the concepts you now know. Pause the video and give them a go. Here are the answers to the first three of those questions. Pause the video and check your answers. And the answer to the final question, again, pause the video, check your answers. That's all for this lesson. Make sure you go back over all the concepts from this lesson, including the retrieval practice, in order to develop your long-term memory. And I will see you next time.